Hey everybody, what's up? <clears throat> I know this ain't my usual thing, but I am gonna try something different. This is gonna be an unboxing video. Oh, excuse me. Of the Zombie Tools Big Bad Wolf. I did get it in. I don't know if I'm the first person to have gotten it yet, but I guarantee I'm the first person to do a video review. So, uh, let's check it out. You guys are getting the, uh, my first impressions and everything as I get it. So. I thought that'd be the best way to kind of do it. Ooh. Well, as always, you got this, uh, whenever you buy a zombie tool, you get this neat little sticker, which I have all over everything at this point, but I kind of dig it. Uh, the Kydex is actually really nice. Uh, I kind of dig that. It's heavy. It's definitely a heavy two-hander, I can tell, just looking at it. Oh, that is nimble. Wow. I dig that. Every zombie tool sword normally comes with plastic on the blade. Unless you request otherwise. Which just keeps oil on it. Uh, make sure, you know, God forbid, uh, if you're shipping a long period of time or a certain uh, climate, humidity, it uh, keeps it whatever. Uh, real beefy handle as far as the scales go. Not that that's a bad thing, but, uh, you know, it is just, it's definitely beefy. You can see the thing in there. It feels really cool. It's, uh, um, the blade itself is pretty sweet. I got to say, you can see that fucking blade finish in there. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. We're back in the dojo, if you will. And uh, this is a... <clears throat> Kind of cool thing that I sort of like it um, with this particular Kydex, the way they're doing it, as opposed to actually sticking it in, just kind of sits on top. Not sure if you can see that, but I sort of like that because then you have this snap over, just snaps right on. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty cool actually. I sort of dig that. I mean, that is not coming off, there ain't no freaking way that's coming off. So, obviously, Kydex, they got the uh, leather upgrades now. I just ordered one for my Zypho, so as soon as that gets in, I will, um, you know, do a review of what I think of their leather. That'll probably be after Christmas. But, uh, like I said, the sheath is pretty cool. Um, it's, you know, obviously basic Kydex, but, you know, it definitely works. It's a good quality sheath. So, blade itself has got some Kydex all over it now, but... See the finish in there? It's definitely on point. Perfectly centered. I mean, it's, you can tell it's uh, by hand, the grind. It's really sweet. Razor sharp. Now with this, just because I'm going to be a stickler for those who are all, oh, you know, zombie tools, you say you love them all the time. And I do. But you can see a little bit of a gap between the leather and the thing here. It's not a big deal. I don't think it is. But I'm giving you the pros and cons because I want to do as honest a review as I can. <clears throat> so there is a tiny, tiny gap between. But that's just to be expected a little bit. ZT logo is uh, etched in there. It's pretty cool. You got the hammer marks in the blade. I mean, that's really prevalent. I really do like that a lot. I mean, it's a big sword, no question about that. It, uh, it's got a great feel, though, I gotta say. It feels very, 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 um, balanced. Let's see here. That would be because it's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's pretty incredible. I mean, that's, that is balanced right there. That is half an inch from the guard. So it's a very balanced sword. Um, I, you know, it just, for some reason, it feels very Lord of the Rings. I, I don't know how to explain it better than that. It just has a great feel to it. Um, I mean, you could do some serious damage. It's not heavy, overly heavy, like some of their pieces. Um, it's got pretty good finesse. It's hard to sword this uh, size be swinging around a small room, but... It's, uh, it's got really good finesse. I, I'm very impressed with this sword. Um, this might be one of my new favorites. 
I really dig that. I mean, that's, you know, it's a pretty badass piece. I mean, you could wield this with one hand with some efficiency, depending on how big of a guy, strong of a guy you are. With, you know, I mean, I, you know, you wouldn't wrap the air with it necessarily, you know, or do fencing, but <clears throat> it's a pretty sweet blade. Um, I dig it. I really do. I recommend it. I think after shipping, I paid $7.48, I want to say. So, I mean, that's definitely a decent chunk of change, but for the quality, I think it's worth every penny. I really do. Just got a beautiful finish on this one. Sharp point. It, uh, it's a really nice sword. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Not to say I thought I wasn't going to be, but I, um, <clears throat> you know, when I saw the proto pics of uh, this particular design, I'm like, ah, you know, I like it, but do I love it? I'm not sure. We'll see when it comes in how it feels in the hand. Um, I really like it. It's a good quality two-handed sword. I mean, you, it's got a lot of... Um, speed for its size and I mean this is a big piece you know this is definitely a uh, fantasy ranger style I would call this so I would pick one up I uh, I definitely give this uh, two thumbs up no question they did a great job we did a great job definitely a cool design cool feel I dig it peace out guys have a great holiday if I don't see it big bad wolf and ferris wolf models next to each other so you can get kind of a comparison idea. So I for future reference would really like to see the Ferris Wolf exactly the way it is just with a two-handed uh, model where you change absolutely nothing about the sword at all because um, I think truly these are very different swords at this point. So I do like the Ferris Wolf the way it is. I just think it needs a longer two-handed handle. I think I would love to see exactly the way it is with just the length of the Big Bad Wolf. Something to push towards next year maybe. Change absolutely nothing about it except that little thing. And psh, I think you've got two awards. Let's say I don't like the Ferris Wolf. I do. I like it a lot. But I think it needs a longer handle. One handle for that sword just as hard I think for me. And I'm a pretty big guy. So just saying though. But looks great. You guys have a good one.